नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल विजुअलाइज लॉस सरफेस एंड ग्रेडिंग डिसेंट ट्रेजेक्ट्री ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन क्लासीफायर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर विजुअलाइजेशन विल क्रिएट अ टॉय डेटा सेट वेयर इज सैम्पल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विथ टू फीचर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन लॉस सरफेस एंड the gradient descent trajectory in the slides here is a step by step process to generate uh, the the loss surface visualization so first we generate a grid of weights w1 and w2 here note that we have two parameters or we have two features in the feature matrix and we add an additional feature corresponding to the bias but for this visualization we set the bias to 0 and we ignore the 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 weight corresponding to the bias unit so we generate a grid of weights only corresponding to the first feature and the second feature which is w1 and w2 for each point on the grid we calculate cross entropy loss on the on the training set that was generated then we plot the contours of weight and loss the base the basic idea here is to calculate loss for a given weight vector on a fixed on a fixed estimator and the training set so the training set is fixed to what we have generated and we are using logistic regression as an estimator we import a couple of utilities for from matplotlib for for visualizing the loss surface we instantiate a logistic regression classifier then we uh, then we create a toy data set uh, you know apply polynomial transformation of degree 1 on this this will basically help us to get a dummy feature corresponding to the bias unit then we perform training and test split in order to split the the data into training and test sets so we have 37 points in training next we generate a grid of 25 weights so here we we use np.mesh grid uh, function in order to generate the the grid of 25 weights so we have 25 weights in in uh, for for each weight so in uh, in all we generate 25 into 25 that is a grid with 625 points now what we do is we calculate loss at each point on the grid so we initialize the loss matrix which is 25 cross 25 there are 625 points uh, in all so we initialize the loss matrix to zero and then what we do is for so we construct a weight vector for each point uh, on the grid we set the weight corresponding to bias to 0 and then we uh, then we visualize and then we actually calculate the loss for this particular weight vector for the given training uh, training feature matrix and label vector we store that loss in the in the loss matrix and then we plot the the loss using contour plot so here we have w1 on the x axis w2 on the y axis and the loss is uh, is actually on the z axis and what we what we are plotting instead is we are plotting the contour of of the 3d of the 3d uh, of the 3d plot that would that we would have got another wise so since we are plotting the contour what you see is uh, you know um, some kind of contours where the the loss is kind of constant so for example you see different lines here right different uh, contours and for a particular contour like this loss is kind of uh, is kind of constant so here this is the region where the loss is where the loss is minimum and you can see that this is the loss color scale so the darker the color lesser the loss and as color becomes fainter the loss uh, becomes greater so you can see that as we move away from this region uh, on the edge of the visualization the loss is kind of higher in this uh, in this region whereas in this region the loss is is the lowest so ideally we would end up we would like to end up somewhere in this region next what we do is we plot the gradient descent trajectory on the loss surface for that we train a logistic regression classifier on the training set 
with number of epochs as 1000, learning rate of 10 raised to minus 2 and with regularization rate of 0. So we train a logistic regression classifier without any regularization. And since we make use of gradient descent procedure which stores the weights at each uh, weight after each epoch in a class member variable, we will make use of those weights in order to plot the trajectory. So first we plot the loss contours uh, based on what we computed in the, in the last visualization and then we on that loss surface or on loss contours what we do is we plot weights after each few epochs. So we go from the first epoch to 900th epoch uh, with the gap of 100 and we plot uh, the weight after every 100 epochs. So you can see that we started uh, at 0, 0. So this is the initial, uh, initial starting point of the gradient descent procedure. So initial, we initialize the weights to 0 and then this was the point where we reached. So this was the weight vector that was learned after 100th, uh, after 100th epoch. And then for subsequent 100th epoch, we saw very small change happening to the weight vector. And the red point that you see over here is our, is our final is our final destination or this was the final weight vector that was learned after uh, after 1000 epochs. So this is the trajectory of, of the gradient descent uh, for logistic regression classifier on the loss contours. In this video, we visualize the loss contours and the gradient descent trajectory for logistic regression classifiers. So hope this gives you an idea about how to go about uh, visualizing the loss surface as well as gradient descent updates for different classifiers.